a combined total of 21 newcomers between these two schools in the era of the transfer portal. It'll be Ty John Claw jumping for the Catamounts. The Bulldogs will jump. Most action here. Wolbright going cross court to Harris, who just misfired on the three. There's Jackson dropping it down to Claw. That's good post the defense off. there by Georgia, not biting on the head fake. That's right. And speaking on their earlier point with Frankie Aslam uh, out this evening. Uh, and we see the starting lineup at the bottom of the screen. I'm sure he's been one that's performed really, really well, according to Coach White and, you know, preseason practices. And not shocked at all to see him out here. All right, number zero for Georgia. Terry Roberts able to keep it alive and find Anselm for the first points of the Mike White era. That's right. Off the mark, dogs driving. Roberts, WCU wow. gets back, and Jones comes up with a loose ball. There's a loose shoe. Here's Harris driving, and a block from Oquendo. Dogs coming back the other way. The looks of this, it's going to be a track meet early. Both teams are going to try to establish pace and, you know, play up tempo basketball. Here's Woolbright. At 14 against Georgia a year ago. There's a block shot for the Bulldogs. Kyron Lindsay, the freshman Oquendo. Spin move, loses the handle, saves it back in. Good save. Works out as Georgia goes with a three guard look. There's Bridges with a head fake. Ducks down past Good. Granger and knocks it down. And Bridges does such an excellent job using the body. If he can, he's really, really going to be effective there. And here's a duck in a drive for the Catamounts. Jackson with a good head fake and a long three ball. It's good. So the Georgia lead cut down to one. Back cut. Roberts with a reverse layup. Nice, nice backcourt. Nice clear side action. Jones Jr. against Hill. Good screen there for Granger. Great off the ball defense from Roberts. Dogs trying to use defense to create offense and Hill finishes. Is all over the boards. That's his fourth rebound on the defensive end. Feeds Woolbright. And where's that? The scouting report. You got to block out the five foot eight guy. What's the call? It's going to be a charge. It is. Hard to go with that rhythm when you're subbing in a bunch of guys. Yeah, without a doubt. And that's a, you know, usually you watch games this opening weekend, you know, at any level, you're going to see a little bit of that. You got a three there, but he's off to a great start off the bench. Well, he's got a pure stroke. You know, got it naturally. His dad, one of the all time greats in this state, yep. had a tremendous NBA career. There's Claude with a two hand. Going here and early. A well, Western just two for 14. They're only down by six. As Hill gets inside, good screen in the NCAA tournament. And that's critical for a team like next game. And Coach Gray, he told us. That's right. It's one mindset and preparation. You know, you don't know who you are until you play. And you don't know how good you are until you play against the best. So they're going to go. They're going to uh, go about that. They're not going to take any shortcuts there. And they're going to find out pretty soon what kind of team they're going to have. And they're also going to get better. How about Oquendo? Almost hit his rebound. It was a good diagonal feed to Oquendo. Nice stop, little hesitation and finish. Good to see him get going early there and be aggressive with a shot and see one go in. There's Jones Jr. out for Jackson. Little gamble on the steal. Claude with a finish off the square. One of the things you expect from a young freshman. Here's Abdur Rahim from Moncrief. Moncrief against Claude, one on one. It's power against power there. Like the reverse, couldn't finish it. Abdur Rahim sneaks in. He'll step to the line. Abdur Rahim hits for the Bulldogs. Yeah, young players, uh, you know, young players, it's hard to unmint. Uh, and, 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 you know, he got that on offensive rebound. All good signs for Mr. Abdur Rahim. Russell Jones Jr., uh, entry pass, a tip and a steal. Earlier. Moncrief. Excellent. Roberts, nice move. Just natural off-ball move. They're doing a great job of finding quality works right at the rim to get going here. Western's had some success going inside to Claude. Trying to do it again. A little half hook around the iron and through. And Claude saying, keep feeding the beast. Get it to me. That's right. Moncrief thought about the lob. Quindo started to go before he had the ball. There's Moncrief. Left hand off the square there by Jones. Just continuing to make an impact everywhere around the court. Wolbright with a step. Good help defense there from Bridges. Body with a foot on the line. Uh, and in regards to the post, it off the spot. Wolbright set. Juice Holt in number four. Look for Bridges there. The right hand won't go and Holt 
How about those green shoes for the winning? Wear whatever. You know what, you know, Deion. As Campbell loses it, but he's able to get it back. Still plenty of time to shoot. Woolbright works inside. Great move. And On the board with a field goal there from Albany, Georgia. So this is kind of a home game for him. And know that he's, you know, pri proud to be here and playing in his home state. Wanting to make a you know, good impact My towards the rim and get, you know, nice quality finishes. Woolbright going up. Just didn't get a clean look at it. And Holt coming back the other way. Bridges now with Woolbright on him. Quindo to his left. He'll launch a three and knock it down. With 5.55 to go in half, number one. Turnover for the dogs. Here's Woolbright with a trailer. Goes to the lead man, Harris. He finishes with two hands. Here's Hill. Quindo. High screen from Moncrief. Low pass. Bodies everywhere. Harris with a loose ball. Oquindo somehow comes out of the scrum with it. And now he's got nine. In 12 points at the half. It's being striking position. And there's the finish by the little guy, Jones. Improved from last year defensively. Much better on the rotations and communication in the early going. Nice feed. Moncrief nice. with the left hand. Opportunities on the offensive end with great transition uh, and, and, and great running of the floor. But you always feel like even points. That's right, that's right. And again, free throw line is a place to find yourself early on in the season and get yourself a clawed to the boards with his second rebound. I'll see, tell you what, it's good to see Bridges go to his left shoulder twice there and try to use that right hand a little bit as a natural left-handed guy. Jackson with a nifty move, a little half hook. Teams that have not been good teams in non-conference play, but have all been dominant teams in conference play. And a lot of that just comes with, you know, the pattern of going through a season, how much playing some fine defense. Two free throws here. Got that lead seems to shrink a little bit faster. And that one rattles in. Here's Oquindo. Western Carolina's chosen to go zone on the inbounds. Oquindo for three. That's a huge shot. It's a good sign of the work that he's put in over the offseason. And there's Harris with a drive and Oquindo with a block. The dogs have got time. Five seconds in the half. He'll fly it in and it's rejected by Harris out of bounds with 2.5. Out for Harris. Now, if you're Western, you got to get Harris a ball. Claude, very good in the low post. Harris with a fake. Harris with a fadeaway. You eat your vegetables, you get your candy on the other end. He paced there against more size and just took his time, got to his spot, and rose up. Sometimes it's that simple. So Harris now with four. Anselm out high. And there's Oquindo with a step, able to hook it around. A little friendly fire, but McBride able to maintain possession. There's the alley-oop, Ed. Excellent pass there by McBride. Back to Claude. Now battling in. Boy, he is a good, strong player. Tyjon Claude. Couldn't get that one to go. Aquindo with the dribble drive. You know, keying in as well. And for these guys to get going during game. Russell Jones Jr. out for Claude. They want to get him down low. And Georgia now is doing a good bit of switching here. There's Jackson. He finds mm. Claude for a powerful slam. Goes to his left. Beautiful diagonal feed. Three ball from Jackson is good. And it's down to single digits for Georgia. The Bradley transfer against Jackson with a nice quick first step. Little up and under the double move. The shot won't go. And Harris on the boards. Woolbright, Jones, the pitch. Jackson for his third three, knocks it down. This is a team that very much believes that they not only should be here, but they should win here. So uh, we'll, we'll see how these next couple minutes go. But so far, it appears the Catamounts are the ones that are bringing the fight to the Bulldogs. Well, yeah, there you Ooh, go. Georgia untimely, makes untimely. a big see if Hill can get the Bulldogs going here. Good pass inside, and Georgia will get to the line. High school. Texas, highly thought of, and Georgia. Push. Jones with the drive. In deep. Beautiful feed. Right corner. Trey is good. Jackson makes it a one-possession game. To this second half from Western Carolina. Catamounts with a 15-3 run in this second half, and the Dogs finally get one to go. Western now with numbers. Campbell, the freshman, back for Jackson. Into the corner. Good! There it is. Carolina has going for him right now. 
Blink of the eyes, a two-point game. Bernard Pellot, the transfer from Catawba College, a Division II standout, cuts Georgia's lead to two, and now the Dogs push it right back to four with a chance for a three-point play. Four, and Anselm can make it five. Even use their size advantage to continue to rebound well. Here's Woolbright getting inside. The help defense feeds it up high. The freshman drives and loses a handle. Hill coming back the other way. Abdur Rahim hard to the hole. Yes, and a foul. Second successive. Pull that upset. Key number one, you got to make shots. And Western Carolina in the second half is doing just that as Claude backs in. Nice move. Good with the left hand. Rip a la Marcus Thornton to pull that one down. Hill with a nice kick. Roberts with a dribble drive. Hill. I think Coach White's liking this combination, just getting some time as Hill's That's able right. to finish there. Uh, Hill, the guy who's playing NCAA tournament at the point guard position. There goes another one. Abdur Rahim with a block and a foul call here. At the end of the day, the officials, they're looking for certain. Going to Florida. And so here's Roberts with the ball, and Georgia up by six. Good screen yeah. from Bridges. Roberts pick and roll, and there's Jones sneaking in underneath. Still number five for Jones, and you saw it on the initial. I thought Bridges did a good job screening, but Jones even more prepared. Great pass. Jackson to Claude. This has been terrific defensively tonight. Absolutely. He's been terrific. As we look down the stat sheet, he's been a guy that's got a lot of room. Another huge block for Oquendo there. Dogs back the other way with Roberts, and he's able to finish in traffic. And up. Now back to Roberts. Roberts with a nice move to spin past Jones. Major, major havoc all over the court. I agree with you. So that's the eight turnovers call. Most nights going to be a good night for Georgia. And he's an experienced player. He's been through the ups and downs of playing well and missing some and knowing the difference. So he, uh, I think he'll be a guy that bounces back here this evening and won't have to wait till next game. And there's a Quindo. What a force he is driving to the hole. Physical presence and his athleticism. So good to see him going there. Window with a dozen in the first half. First field goal in the second half. Granger. And Roberts with a steal. Heady play by the veteran. Is that a shoe missing off Roberts' foot? What wow. is going on here tonight? My count is number six. I think some of these guys just don't tie shoes. Unbelievable. <laughs> and, and I wonder, too, it, it was 85 degrees in Athens today. I, I just wonder with that humidity, is, is the floor a little sweaty? I don't know. Oh, no, Quindo! No. Oh, no shoe loss there. He'll step to the line. It's really tested. It is. Weather can be, so we're going to stick with that for the time being. 57-46, three. Catamounts need it, don't get it, but there's Claude muscling up inside, and he draws a foul. General, it can be a system. It can be other players that came in at that. So the lead at 10. I mean, oh, so tough. He's staying on the same level as the ball, and... They're like trying to draw a to the SEC. When that calendar turns to January, you better be ready. Yeah, and who, look who it is again. Got in there. Russell Six Jones, steals. Hand on the ball. Jackson to Claude. Lowered the shoulder. No call. Georgia wanted the offensive foul. By the rest. Roberts off a of Bridges screen. Left elbow short. Oh. Jones to the boards. Fifth oh, rebound. Yeah. The clock stopped, and he missed it. They're just telling Oquindo to come this way. Now it's Roberts. Creating some balance on this side of the court. There we go. Excellent. Nice move by Bridges. The stroke in the second half, and he's going to stay aggressive all the way through the final buzzer. Give me a little Joe Dean string music there as he tickles the twine. Here's Juice Holt with the finish of the foul. Hey, speaking of, and one. Speaking of. Part of the second half, we've seen both point guards. You can speak to this. You were a great player. That gets a lot of extra respect from your players when they know you did it at the collegiate level to high level without a doubt and hello first situation who are we in close games and georgia was able to fight off the storm and play well here to finish the game and you know western carolina was able to compete and continues to do so at the basket there by uh, it easy especially now you've invested this much into the clock 10 to shoot hill gets a screen dribble drive Excellent job right nice there. game here tonight a yep. lot of good things for the Catamounts and a lot of good things for the Bulldogs. And Georgia wins in Mike White's head coaching debut for the Bulldogs.